members of the press, uh, as you have already been told, this is a delegation uh, that has come from that conference that they call Limuru Three. I'm accompanied here by my one of my deputies, Honorable Wikis Ambesa Paranya, and I'm also here with uh, the, cha the deputy chairman of our party, Governor Simbarati, and there are several other honorable members of parliament of uh, ODM who are here. Uh, this delegation came to present to us uh, a report of the meeting that was held in Limuru, uh, known as Limuru 3. And uh, as you know, uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, discussions uh, about uh, Limuru 3, uh, whether it should take place or not, uh, whether it was going to unite or divide the people of Kenya. Uh, we have had conversation for a long time. I actually gave them uh, a kind of uh, uh, a, a summary of our history as a people, uh, where we came from and how we came together about the struggle for independence of our country uh, uh, and why this area was unique, where particularly we had the armed struggle, uh, because this was the, one of the areas which was settled by the white men and they had to, 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 to take up arms in order to be able to liberate themselves. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we came from an era of a single party dictatorship that had criminalized political association and freedom of expression. Uh, eventually we managed to remove Section 2A and bring the finally <coughs> bringing a new constitution in 2010. But this new constitution was finally a compromise. It was still a work in progress. There are several areas which still need to be looked, looked at, particularly the devolution chapter. But in the devolution, we talked about equity in sharing of resources in our country not equality, equity in sharing of resources in a country. That means you actually take count of the numbers of the people where they are, because the services are primarily first and foremost to the people. So uh, one of the points that was discussed ex 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 extensively during these deliberations in Mimuru, according to information that we now have is this issue of resource sharing of a country. Somehow this thing has been misrepresented as if it is discriminating against other parts of our country. Nothing could be further from the truth. It is not a question of discrimination. We want to ensure that each and every Kenyan gets a fair share of resources created by our sweat. This is what it is. Uh, it cannot be right that some children should get more money as a bursary than other children in other parts of the country. And I think this is a conversation which, if we have it openly, in a pop, uh, op, open dialogue, we'll be able to convince majority of our people that this is the right way to go. And that's why in the, in the uh, PBI, Propose it, many some people don't want to hear it. But they want to ensure that each and every Kenyan is fairly treated, equally treated. And that's why we're saying, we talk, we agree with this phrase that is one man, one, one vote, vote, one, one shilling. shilling. Uh, I, I agree totally with, with, with this. I, I, I mean, uh, I don't, I'm not a pop, never a populist. I always talk with my mind uh, openly. I, I know that it may not be uh, very popular in some quarters, but let us have this conversation. As a people, let us have this conversation. Secondly, uh, Kenyans are hurting, but I'm going to talk about that in another occasion, not today. 
but know that Kenyans are hurting seriously uh, currently and the proposals which are contained in finance uh, uh, bill are going to add a lot of burden on the people of Kenya and that's why I'm going to speak about that uh, separately. But here I want to thank them for coming to share this report with us and uh, uh, we wish them luck in whatever they, they, they're doing as a people. We must, Kenyans must stand together as one people. Let us unite as one people to ensure that we guard very selfishly the gains that we have already made and unite also so that we can continue to open up the democratic space for our people, for the future generation. I thank you. Thank you. Asante Sana. Do you have any question? We are only going to take two questions. We start with you, Brian, come. Step forward. Just come. Your media house and the name. Right Honorable, my name is Brian Mushiri of NTV. On the issue of one man, one vote, one shilling, and Honorable Jeremiah Kioni came out to say that uh, Deputy President Rigade Gashagwa um, has now seen the light. On this push of one man, one vote, one shilling, if there is that push, are you willing to work with Deputy President Rigade Gashagwa? <laughs> well, I'm working with everybody in this country. Nobody specifically. Uh, uh, President Gachagua is, is a member of, of, of the government. And as you know, yesterday, the government uh, pledged that they are going to support my bid for AU. And I said, uh, I, I thank them. So he is um, uh, he's, he's, he's seen the light. He's, become, he's a soul who has now become a pawn. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, the last one. Uh, Your Excellency, my name is Apollo TV47. Yesterday you spoke about some friends who came to you uh, in your U, uh, e, uh, AU quest. Um, does the friends include uh, former President Uhuru Kenyatta? Request for AU friends. Friends are friends. <laughs> friends are friends. Uh, and uh, he approves 100%. Maybe the last one. Thank you. My name is Vincent Momo from Citizen TV. I know you said you will address this in a different forum, but Kenyans are really, really eager to hear the official statement or the, or the official position of the ODM party on the finance bill and also the strategy that ODM is uh, going to employ in the uh, parliament because that is where the real struggle is. Thank you. We have uh, leadership in parliament they are going to talk about the strategy that they will uh, deploy. But I would say that I'm going to talk about that issue at another forum. 